During the 1970s, bodybuilding wasn't just about training hard. It was about where you trained. And there was no gym more iconic than Gold's Gym in Venice Beach, the epicenter of the bodybuilding world. In the 1970s, gym culture was very different from what we see today. The atmosphere was intense, but it was also supportive. Bodybuilders of the era often trained outdoors, especially in Venice Beach, and the sunny California weather was the perfect backdrop for pushing their limits in ways that weren't confined to the walls of the gym. stands out about the gym culture of the golden era is the sense of brotherhood. These guys weren't just training partners. They were friends, rivals, and teachers all at the same time. Training at Gold's Gym was about one thing, hard work. The equipment was simple, barbells, dumbbells, and free weights. These guys weren't using machines or gimmicks. It was all about lifting heavy, pushing your body to its limits, and doing the basic compound movements that built real strength and size. In the 70s, it was all about using free weights and focusing on the fundamentals. These guys didn't rely on machines. 
They built their physiques through sheer effort and consistency. While Gold's Gym was the heart of the golden era, it wasn't the only place where legends trained. World Gym, also in Venice Beach, Vince's Gym in North Hollywood was another legendary spot known for its strict training philosophy and unique equipment. But they all shared one thing in common, a dedication to hard work and results. Whether it was Gold's, World Gym, or Vince's. That's a lesson for today's gyms. It's not about having the latest machines or the best equipment. It's about creating a space where athletes can push each other to be their best. They created a culture of hard work camaraderie and dedication that continues to inspire generations of bodybuilders. <laughs>